Hi guys, so basically today I thought I would discuss some few products that I bought. Um, I bought them quite a while ago. I did put it up on my Instagram a long time ago, it's probably like two or three weeks ago, but then I started a new job. So this video has actually been prolonged for a very, 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 very long time. Today I thought I would just film a video for you guys and review some of these products. So let's get into it anyway. I'm just trying to have a look at now. But what I did buy is a few Revolution products and um, I just want to quickly tell you what I think of them. And some of these um, I thought, oh wow, do you know what? I don't want to spend a lot of money on Too Faced palettes. You know the Too Faced chocolate palette? I didn't want to spend a lot of money on that. So I did a bit of research and I found out that this is a carbon copy of the Too Faced palette. Alright, so basically um, I wanted to purchase the Too Faced um, chocolate palette. But that was too expensive, it's just like 40 50 quid, so I don't really want to spend that much, and I don't really have the money to spend that much. And on a palette like Too Faced, I haven't really tried Too Faced products, so I really don't know how good they are. So I wanted to invest in something similar, and I found this palette. Basically, it's the I Heart Makeup Palette, and it's called I Heart Chocolate Palette. It's the, in the I Heart Makeup Collection, sorry, and it's called I Heart Chocolate Palette. This is basically the carbon copy of that palette, the Too Faced palette, and what they did, they copied the packaging as you can see, and um, inside they actually copied the eyeshadow, the layout of the eyeshadow, and that's just like crazy. Um, they did have an insert like this to tell you what eyeshadows you're using and stuff like that. And this is how it looks. All the eyeshadows are here. You've got the highlighters and you've got all of the, the eyeshadows laid out like this. And obviously you do get a mirror like this. The look I'm wearing today is from this palette. And if you do want to see how I got this look, there will be a tutorial coming out soon. And I'll try and link it down below once it's out. Um, basically, my first impressions on this was... Okay, um, it's really pigmented, so that's really good. That's a bonus. For something that's only six, six pounds, this is really pigmented, so I do like that. But okay, there is a lot of fallout. So when I was doing my eyeshadow, I was getting a lot of fallout here, so it's a bit irritating. So, but then again, you kind of have to expect something like that. There is downsides to a cheaper palette, so that's the only downside that I actually could think of. That it's just got fallout. So other than that, it's really pigmented. It's cheap. So if you can't afford something so expensive, just buy this. It just does the job. Also, in that palette, this comes with it. I don't really use these, these applicators. They're just not for me. I use more like brushes like this. Double end brushes, blending brush there. And you can pack on your eyeshadow using this side. Um, I did also purchase a few other things. I purchased um, a few brushes like this. I've got a blending brush and a stippling brush. The stippling brush, I did open it. I did try it out on my face. Um, it's too soft. You need a stippling brush that is more dense so you can kind of blend things properly but I say that it's not, it's, I don't know how to explain it, it's too flimsy. It does like, for example if you've got cream contour or if you've got like cream blushes, they're really great for blending that out because this is just, I like to it's more for starters. It's not going to do, to do your whole face with it seriously, you can be here for ages, you're just going to, you know. You don't want that. So because I've been obsessed with my Real Techniques one, if I just compare it quickly. Um, see, can you see the difference? This is really thin compared to this one. This one's more dense and has, has more like bristles in it. And I don't know, like, it's just, you can do your face in two minutes with this one. When you put the brush against your face, it looks like this. And then when you start blending, can you see how the bristles are e can easily move? This basically means it's not dense enough and really flimsy. I'm not saying it's a bad brush, I'm just saying for foundation, I don't think it's a great brush to use. I think it's great to use for contour, cream contouring and cream blushes to blend that out because it gives it a soft kind of blending motion and it would take a while to kind of blend out your foundation with this. Whereas the Real Techniques one, look, if I was to blend with that, could you see how the brushes are still in its place? It's not as flimsy as that one and that this would really do a better job compared to the Revolution one. Um, I also bought a blending brush. It's called Pro Eyeshadow Blending Brush. I didn't actually use this, but these brushes are super soft. So um, I'm not sure how it's going to be blending out your eyeshadow. For me, 
A blending brush is a blending brush, okay? This is just like $1.99. You need blending brushes to kind of do the job, so I just think as long as it's soft on your skin, it's great. It's not a problem for me. <laughs> Um, I also did buy one last thing from Revolution, which was my cream contour, okay? After buying this, I realised I'm not into cream contour. I'm, I'm so into my MAC Studio Fix powder to contour my face. I just like powder. Because I have dewy skin, and it's not good for people that have dewy skin. This is the uh, contour stick. It's really good, like, for someone, if you like cream contours, this is basically good. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna like this. So, for me, I get this kind of feeling on my face where it's just like, I don't know, like sticky. Maybe because I have dewy skin, this is, I'm not supposed to be using cream contour and stuff like that. It's just going to feel uncomfortable on my face. But for you or anyone that does like cream contouring, it's really good. Like, it's only like a pound. So grab one. You need one in your collection. Um, oh, what else is there? I think that's about it really. The, um, the palette's good. Everything I bought was under 10 or 12 pounds. So if you do want to buy some cheap products, makeup products especially, go ahead and try Revolution products first. Because um, if you're starting out with makeup, I wouldn't recommend buying the most expensive ones because you, you kind of want to like try some of the colours on your skin and see how it is and how it looks. So, you want to like buy something cheaper so you can kind of play around with it. Other than that, everything is cushte. I really do like the palette and I like the contour stick. Whereas I won't be using it as much on my skin but I might use it on someone else. So I really like that. But that's about it really. So if you did enjoy my review on the Revolution um, palette and the products I bought, uh, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below but for now take care guys bye bye